Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the May Hella Handmade Creations. If you don't know what Hella Handmade Creations is, every month a bunch of different indie makers get together and they contribute one product to the Hella Handmade Creations site, and that site is open the 14th to the 21st of every month. So this month it will open May 14th and it'll close May 21st. In the description box below, I will link the Hella Handmade Creations site, their Instagram page, their Facebook page, and then my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. I will also link every indie maker's sites. These won't be available on their sites, but it is a good representation of the brand themselves if it was something you were interested in further exploring. Also, some products are what we call capped, and that just means that you can only order a certain number of those during the ordering period. If a polish has no cap, then you can order as many as your little heart desires until the shop closes. So I think we have seven polishes to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Symbiote, and this is a continuation of the Spider-Man series. It's described as a black base with a blue shimmer, aurora shimmer, and silver micro flakes. Formula on this was very smooth and easy to work with. Nicely opaque on this first coat, just opaque enough that you can still make out all of the beautiful delicate elements that are in this polish while having an opaque-ish base. I did get full opacity in two coats. Depending on your application, you might want three, but I would definitely recommend top coat. It does dry a little bit textured and it does take a little bit scrubbing to remove. Next from by Dana Vienna, we have the Phantom of the Opera is here, and this is inspired by mixtapes. It's described as a dark gray curly base with a copper aurora shimmer and copper iridescent flakes. I will say that my bottle of this is much lighter than what I see on the swatches on the website, so I'm not entirely sure that my bottle didn't do something funky in transit, but I did get full opacity in three coats. You will want top coat to smooth everything out and to add some shine and removal is easy. So there's three coats. Up next from Limby Designs, we have a white witch. This is described as a teal based green to silver to gold to purple to blue multi-chrome with a linear hollow and it is inspired by Outlander. Formula on this was beautiful to work with, very smooth, not too thick or too thin, a nice buttery formula. I did do three coats to build this one up to full opacity. This is one of those polishes though that I feel like if you did do two coats of this, nobody would notice a nail line simply because it's so holographic and so blingy. I would recommend top coat just for some added shine and removal was easy. So there's three coats. Up next from Night Owl Lacquer, we have Farouche, and this is inspired by Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and it's described as a glowy neon green yellow with green to gold shimmer and lots of gold to copper to green crystal chameleon flakes. Formula on this was wonderful, super opaque, total opacity in two coats, a gorgeous summer polish. I'd recommend top coat because it dries dull, but removal's easy and I had no staining. So there's two coats. Up next from my brand Pamper Polishes, we have Big Fish, and this is inspired by Bob's Burgers. It's described as a soft, dusty lavender base with a blue to aqua aurora shimmer. I think the formula on this is smooth. I didn't have any issues with running, pooling, or staining. It is on the sheer side. If you wanted to build this one up over a black, you could totally do so. I did do three coats today um, for full opacity. You might still make out some nail line. I was kind of going for a softer, kind of dainty finish to represent Mr. Fish Odor. And I think this one is probably one of my favorites that I've done so far for this series. I'd recommend top coat just to keep your manicure lasting. It does dry glossy all on its own and removal will be easy. So there's three coats. So up next from Penelope Luz, we have Holy Grail. This is the next polish in the King Arthur series, and it's described as a iridescent flakes in orange to pink with red, gold, and white glitters. So formula on this was also really good, not too thick for a super glitter heavy polish. I'm going to show you what three coats looks like today on its own first. 
and I wasn't able to I wasn't able to achieve full opacity but if you were looking for that full opacity you could definitely sponge this one on to get it there you are going to want top coat to finish this off it is going to dry dull and textured and removal is definitely going to be difficult so here's what one coat of this looks like over black and that's probably my preferred way of wearing that as a topper so there's one and three coats And lastly for today from Rogue Lacquer, we have Out of the Sea, and this is inspired by The Little Mermaid. It is the first in their series, and I'm super stoked to see where she goes with this series. Out of the Sea is described as a vibrant purple jelly with red, magenta, and green color shifting flakes with micro hollow flecks. So this one's definitely representative of like an oceanic thing. It's very three-dimensional. It's very jelly, squishy. I can see like jellyfish in this. I think this is so representative of the theme and I think it's gorgeous. So I did do three coats for full opacity. I'd recommend top coat, either matte or glossy for this one. And removal was decently easy. So there is three coats. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.